What's up guys? So just wanted to establish what Elevate is about. So obviously you are on my YouTube channel or you're seeing this on my Instagram page on Elevate Lifestyle. So how I came up with the concept with Elevate was actually just for myself, like I, I didn't even have a title for it, but I knew that I wanted to help people out. Meaning I wanted to make connections and help enhance their lives, whether that be through fitness, through connecting them to other people, or through emotional, spiritual health. So what Elevate is about is just creating this hub of people where they all have their own little things that they want to do. And we all just want to create that community where we support each other. That's why you'll be seeing me do interviews, vlogs, workouts, all this stuff with such amazing, inspiring people. And that's just to help inspire you guys. So again, enjoy the content. Thank you for tuning in. Well, I've been that person, you know. Uh, for me, my heart is the biggest muscle. So. I'm always going to be 100% in or I'm going to be 100% out. There's no 50%, 30%. I just always go all in. And that's a big thing or it's a, it's a good thing and a bad thing. But what I've learned from that is every relationship that I've had, one, I know a lot of people who get really bitter after every relationship. And that's why they become single and that's why they go out to party and they drink and all that stuff. I've... I've had that, you know, happen to me where I would just drink and do all that, but then I realized it's not really bettering me. And I think that you don't get to choose who you want the one to be. But you can attract the one you want to be. And if you're partying and drinking and doing all that, you're going to attract exactly like that. But if you focus on being the better version of yourself, then you are going to get the best person for you and you're not going to be disappointed. So, again, I know it's scary to put your all into something, but that's why if you just continue on focusing on yourself and you let just things happen organically, you should be fine. Because in the end, at least you gave it your all. And you shouldn't have regrets for giving someone your all. So I got started into fitness because I, well, one, I was always athletic my whole life. You know, I played basketball for eight years. Um, I actually got into a car accident about two weeks before freshman year of high school started. And I was crossing the street, I got hit by a car, and it was just a head-on collision. So, my brother was there at the time, so luckily he was able to call the hospital and the police. But I was confined for three days in the hospital, and I was in a wheelchair for about a month. And I was just inactive for a whole year. Um, I remember specifically the doctor saying, hey, because this got taken away from her, it's natural for her to experience anxiety and all that stuff, depression, whatever. I didn't obviously understand what anxiety and depression was back then, but now looking back at that, that's exactly why I got into fitness is because I realized that I was using this gym as a mental escape. You know, it's awesome sweating and looking strong and getting the booty and all that stuff, but for me, it mentally helps me and... It's kind of like instead of having to take medicine for my anxiety, I use the gym. And that's why I do fitness and that's why I choose to do it every single day and I try to incorporate it in everything that I do because it's just really changed my life. It's, it's not a passion for me, it's, it's just the life that I want to live. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in becoming a personal trainer, if you aspire to be a personal trainer, my recommendation is just, you know, be open. I mean, don't rely on just the certifications to give you everything that you need. Get Work at front desk at a gym, start off that way so you get familiar with the environment. Two, you know, talk with other people with what their goals are. Just again, make connections. Learn what they really want to do. And talk to other trainers as well too, you know. There's, right now in this industry, there's so many like, oh, I'm the better trainer, all that stuff. And it's really not all about that. You should keep an open mind when it comes to training and that's how you're going to become the best trainer is if you just continuously learn new things.